All right, what we're going to do is make an animated tank tread. Now, so I have the ability to see how wide this is going to be. That's good. I have the ability to see the circumference of the circle and all that good stuff. And I did it with just a few little tricks last in the last video. Well, to make this even better, uh, what I want to do is just show polygons. And I know I keep deleting these out, but this is exactly uh, something that just needs to occur. What I want to do is make this a little wider so it resembles a tank tread. That way you can see for sure that it's working for me and there I did not do any fancy tricks. Okay, So I'm just going to transform component, transform this a little bit wider. and then edit delete by type history okay okay then I'm just gonna go show all all right now I have this wider tank tread it just it just makes it a little bit easier to wrap your head around and I'll go six on the keyboard now I can make this as detailed as I want um, but I'm just gonna make it semi detailed I'm just gonna insert an edge loop here and here and just take this face and extrude it up that's the extent of what I'm going to do for the detail of things okay and you can extrapolate that from all you want now the thing is what I need to do now is rotate this curve duplicate it and rotate it in the same degree I just used. Okay. All right. So what do I mean by that? Well, take the curve, show the rotate feature and edit duplicate special square box. Since I ha now have this degree change down pat, I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to wait till this goes all the way around and then circles back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay. Now the twentieth one I don't need. Um I just wanted to make sure it attached. So it did. And that means I can go into here hypergraph hierarchy and the last curve I want to ditch out cool also I need some bones so here's a bone and let's look at this bone for a second to see why it's so small let's go into display animation joint size oh yeah yeah it's not small it's hid <laughs> show all there we go so there's my joint now I need 20 of these. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to take it. I want it to the point where I can easily grab them too. So I'm going to edit, duplicate with transform, move it down just a little bit, and then hit G. There we go. Now I got 20 of them. I'll make one more just in case. I can always get rid of it. What I'm going to do is grab the bone and then grab the first curve. And this is going to take a while. This is going to take a little bit of time. So I warn you, if you have no patience, don't do this. So here's the first one. Grabbing the curve. And then I'm going to go into animate. Animate. Motion pass. Attach to motion path. 
there's the one okay ready this is what you have to do over and over again bone curve G bone curve G you can make a little song of it bone curve G bone curve G always check to see if you have it right yep good I'm just gonna set this here so I can start seeing around the other side bone curve G okay now I'm gonna keep continuing to do this and I'll meet you back in the next video where I'll be insane and uh, you'll have your bones going all the way around too